Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. It is very important for traders know the high risk in the market, and some traders cannot handle, emotionally cannot handle winning and losing. So uh, try to be uh, on a sim uh, as much as you need it, as long as you need it before you start using real money. Uh, trading is a very serious business, and uh, there is no sh shortcut in the trading. Um, for the ones that just started with us uh, new, what we are doing, we're not collecting any information, email, names. Uh, we are providing free education live, and uh, we are sharing our knowledge our signals to the public at no return. However, if you wanted to follow anything you see, you're very welcome to it, especially for those traders who are struggling. And uh, as long as at your own risk, we're not responsible for your trade. So we strongly advise you to follow us on a sim and uh, we're not responsible for your trade. Uh, before we start, uh, if you want to follow the signals, uh, this is the first column on the left upper corner here. This one here uh, uh, gives you, says on it a new signal, and it tells you where is the entry. As an example, we had an entry today on the NASDAQ at 532.50. We give you the target is 7493.75, and it made 238 ticks based from the last signal, not all day long, is from the last entry signal. And right now we have hit on the NASDAQ 255 ticks. Uh, ES, we have an entry signal. And uh, right now you can see, you should know there is some winning and losing in the market. We do not hide anything. You're gonna see good winning trades and uh, losing trades as well. Welcome to trading. If you cannot handle the winning and the losing, you should not be trading. Uh, right now is the re-entry, folks. Remember, the re-entry is the most important in the whole market because when the market go back and uh, there is a re-entry points, and a lot of traders don't know that, they think it's short where it's just a pullback re-entry. I've been using a re-entry for the last 25, 30 years, so you cannot uh, avoid uh, this strategy, identify trend, pull back, re-entry. This has been with me for over 25 years and it's gonna stay with me to the last day. Uh, this is uh, the kind of trade where it will never run out of style. Everything can run out, but when you use the strategy, identify fair, uh, trend, pull back, re-entry, it's been around for over 30 years and it never runs out. Uh, the re-entry point on the ES, which it did, uh, is 88, uh, uh, 28, 89, 25, but the signal entry, it is 28, 93, 75. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the signal entry is a 28, 89, 25, and then the target is uh, 28, 93, 75, and you can see on the chart here, uh, this is your target. So the system uh, comes with a three different automated trading, uh, ATM, ATM strategy, and a fully automated, you don't have to do anything. For me, uh, I like the ATM strategy because I want it, uh, for the guys are not too late, you can get in on that trade. Uh, follow me on the SIM on 89.25 if you want to. And... Um, I like to use uh, the ATM strategy because the auto trade is gonna, once the target hit, it's gonna close. What I like to do, extend my target because doing this process here on the chart, not on the market analyzer, on the chart, you will have a new targets and a new re-entry points and is uh, uh, to the minute. So. And now there is a new buyers, and this is a new entry. You're very welcome to follow that trade on the SIM. Um, this is uh, the market analyzer. 
is a based on uh, one minute and we do use one minute every single day and like the others they sit on the side in the corner all day long and then they come at night when the party is over trying to show some chart made it and they hide the chart did not make we are here we will show you the good trades and the bad trades live and we try to explain especially for the guys with the auto trading why sometimes this market is struggling with your auto trade or not or when the market is uh, going sideways and there is nothing to trade so especially the education is not for me uh, uh, it's especially for those guys that want to auto trade they have to in a plain English, you need to kick the tires around before you get in, in your car and start your engine. Very simple. The market analyzer right now, based on the last entry signal, now we are 350 ticks in the profit, total of 2,100 and blah, blah, blah. For the guys with a smaller amount of money, you do not have to use all those instruments but if you are using the one contract ES, one contract NASDAQ, and one contract YM, you're not doing a great damage to your account. But at the same time, don't think it's a greener on the other side with the CL and the DAX. If you don't have the knowledge or you don't have the experience, those here are, we put thousands of lines coding in there, and you will never be able to outtrade those. So right now, if you are on one contract NASDAQ, one contract uh, uh, YM, and one contract ES, you already made your bread for today, and then you should be closing your computer and run as fast as you can, so the devil will not play with your head. Agreed, it is number one enemy uh, to the trading. The same story on the... Uh, Forex, you can follow it. The Forex is also on a one minute, and we are using 10K. If you look on the top, we are using 10K for a mini account. You can trade that without any getting your emotionally involved, and it is cheap to use uh, those uh, uh, 10K on the Forex. In the same time, you can use that in the stock market uh, to buy stocks. You can feed your auto trade to buy, let's say, 100 or 1,000 uh, stock when the, there is a signal entry. Also, you can use that system to scan your stock and it can give you a, a new signal or you can let the system scan it and, and automate it trading. If we look now on the NASDAQ, is already the target hit. And when the target hit, the target hit. So uh, as an example, uh, let me see if I have. I want to say thank you very much. Yesterday I was really struggling. My NT8 was a jamming all the time, and I received a lot of support, you know, with uh, a lot of stuff and uh, everything. And um, uh, what, what I did yesterday, I was, before, if you notice here at the bottom here, I have every chart on the tab here. And I am suspicious when you are overloading your charts and you have all the instruments here on the tab, is causing your NT8 to use more energy, which I have the latest uh, processor, i9, not even i7, with a 32 gigabyte ROM and in one of the fastest hard disk uh, ever you can get. So my computer is the latest of the latest and at the top of the top, uh, whatever you, uh, is in the market right now. Nevertheless, yesterday uh, I was uh, struggling with the, the, the NT8. And today what I have done, I did not put all the charts here on the bottom. I did not add all the charts. And I can see right now it is much, much better. And now if I see any charts I need to cover it, I just gonna go ahead and bring the chart here and then uh, we can uh, look at it. 
uh, at this chart is much better than to just keep adding on on this uh, tab because it's i my experience what i have found out is putting a lot of energy on the is sucking a lot of energy on it but maybe i could be wrong guys i'm not a programmer but that's what i my experience and i'm sharing my experience uh, even on nt7 or nt8 sometimes if you bump into problems don't try to fix it it's gonna take a longer time like what i did yesterday when we are done with the youtube immediately delete save your template from the document the file document where your nt8 uh, take your uh, uh, template do not save your workspace because there is always a problem with the workspace and i think yesterday i had a problem with the workspace so try not to uh, move your uh, workspace to new installation but to just save your uh, chart template and uh, make a fresh installation and that's what we've done many years on nt7 and when you feel nt7 or nt8 is getting heavy uh, could be the database could be your chart uh, your workspace or whatever the best way is to do it delete the file in the document nt8 or nt7 put a new installation import your file and then you start all over again and now you start fresh and easy it's much faster and then uh, sometimes nt8 get corrupt by somehow i don't know but uh, then you will have uh, a, a way to uh, uh, solve the problem uh, on this market analyzer here we have the scalper and on the scalper we have the one minute we use the scalper every day on one minute and 150 takes and uh, you can use the scalper on a minute and 150 takes and uh, let me try to find 150 takes this is your 150 takes and this is your one minute one of them is market order and the other one is uh, uh, limited order and then at the bottom here uh, you have uh, the uh, you have the the swing trading and uh, uh, those are the trade uh, based on the swing trading as an example uh, this is uh, your nasdaq you see here in nasdaq uh, two nasdaq let me show you here is the swing trading on the nasdaq and this one here is based on the three minutes. And now we are uh, taking a very good trade on the NASDAQ. And this is a 2600. And you can see all of them uh, doing uh, very fine. And uh, for our traders, uh, this is the, the three minutes we have covered on Monday 7. And this is your three minutes on what we have covered on Monday for the private webinars. Uh, before we start, I uh, I uh, uh, usually uh, show you uh, the uh, DAX on the one minute. We have the DAX on a different uh, uh, time frame, but uh, my DAX is uh, based on uh, one minute okay here is a new signal on the DAX if you see and this is how you get the new signal on the ES NASDAQ down zones you have a new signal on the DAX uh, and uh, and um, I've been sitting and uh, talking I forgot to look at the charts to see what's going on in the charts I didn't pay attention, but uh, we have a new cell entry on the ES. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Okay. Um, as you see, uh, the CL today on the 150 ticks, the scalper didn't do it. One day is going to do it, one day is not. The most important is to have a consistency. 
And then we have the one minute. Uh, I want to cover the text that we have. We use a different. Um, uh, we use a, a different uh, uh, time frame, but uh, my time frame is uh, one minute. I like it. There is some other time frame they can do better than the one minute, but I don't chase the money as much as I chase the consistency. And I like uh, the one minute on the DAX. And this is uh, my daily chart, the one I show every day before we start. Uh, on Monday, made a uh, little over 2,000. Uh, yesterday, before my crash and uh, the internet and all this, made 2,000. And today, on one trade, made 1,595. Again, folks, you should not be trading the DAX on an automated trading or an ES or a NASDAQ every single day. What you have to think about why I like the DAX, not because I'm in love with this uh, DAX. Actually, it is a very fast moving market. And like the ES, it's a very slow process and you need to be covering your corners before you start auto trading the ES. On the DAX, the reason I like the DAX because uh first of all it moves all the time and let's say if i started the dax on monday or on tuesday and nailed 1500 or 2000 then I, I don't have to trade the rest of the week and then if you think about it uh the, the dax always get around a couple thousand uh sometimes it's not which i have showed in the previous v videos where sometimes it didn't make those trades but um and uh, then uh, the auto trade closed on minus 1000. It's not going to be everyday honey, but it is a very consistent where if you think about it in a bigger picture, if let's say a uh, stand going and uh, dealing with the DAX on a daily basis, uh, on the ES on a daily basis, with the DAX, if you have one day hit the target, that can save you problem to sit on a poker table all day long and every day because sitting on a poker table every day does not mean you will be making money. And uh, by Monday or Tuesday, if you get it, then you need to stop and then you need to go on a sim to, to understand how the market going or you can study more to see if you can add one more day uh, during the week on the DAX, but use your energy to find another day uh, to 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 stand having two thousand in one week, you can have it for four thousand. So we can run two days once you know the rhythm of it. It is very important to know the rhythm in every market because every market has their own personality. The ES have a different personality than the Nasdaq, and then the Nasdaq is a different than the than the Dax. So once you get to know this personality, then you will be able to say okay um, i'm getting a, the best is the safest way to do it uh, taking a swing trading on tuesday and maybe another swing trading on thursday you know if you want to add one more day but if you started on let's say uh, monday and uh, you are down 1000 because there is a limited uh, 1000 to the downside and limited to the upper side 1000 but if this market go into your direction it's not going to close at 1000 it's going to stay and sometimes the what i like about the dax uh, even if your target 500 uh, 300 today or your target is um, uh, 1000 you're still going to come out with the same amount of money the reason is uh, the uh, the uh, th th if this market go into your favor, uh, it's going to stay uh, in that trade. If this market not go into your favor, uh, then we are going to stop. So this is what is nice about it. And this is where uh, we have a new signal on the YM. And uh, what, is, what I like about the DAX, uh, you can get it over with in the morning and and then you will have a rest of the day free. You know, this is, uh, I mean, it cannot get better than that. For the guy do not have the money to trade the DAX, I can totally respect that. But then we can take one ES or you can start with one NASDAQ. If you have a very low amount of money, you can start with one 
uh, NASDAQ on the price action, not on the auto trade. Because let me tell you one thing. Guys, what I'm saying, today on the NASDAQ, the market is running. Today on that NASDAQ, on that trade, we made 2,600 on one trade. One thing is in this market, you don't chase wild goose. You don't, you don't, you know, I prefer to have one bird in my hand than chasing 10 birds on a tree. So what I'm saying is, if this market moving, the swing trading is going to make a tons of money. If we look at the controller here on the NASDAQ, we have one trade, 2,800, one trade, 2,400, another CL, 1,000, another DAX, YM, and blah, blah, blah. The thing is, if this market moving, uh, your swing trading is not going to miss that trade. And uh, when the market is not trending, you're going to bump into a lot of problems, like this NASDAQ here. Now, this is a very nice because it trended. But when here, uh, when the market was flat, it was not making money. A lot of unprofessional traders, they think uh, the auto trades problem is to even get you out of when the market is sideways or, or chop or what, call it whatever you want to call it. But the, the reality is if this market not moving, the auto trade is not going to make you ticks. And some of the auto trades are going to blow your account. Especially those uh, out of date uh, auto trades based on ATRs and MACDs and momentums and all this. Because all those indicators, what they do, they're following the market. They're not predicting anything. If you don't know how to read the market, you need to do your homework to see where is the high time I can trade that swing trading as an example from 930. When the market is open, this is the high time, then I can turn on the auto trade. And if this market moving, it's going to be your lucky day. And if this market not moving, uh, it will be welcome to trade in. You're going to be like any other millions of traders are not making money in this system. Not in this system alone. And the uh, when there is no trade or there is no movement in the NASDAQ, not in just our system, every trader worldwide is not going to be able to make money when the market is chopped. You know, actually, this is where most of the people worldwide, they're going to be start losing money. On the scalper, the scalpers are different. You can start your scalper two, three hours before the market is open in your local time. And actually, it is very healthy to use the scalpers before the markets open. The A scalper is very good based on a pullback re-entry, and the B scalper is based on a reversals and a chop market. And in, in, a, in a plain English, it is very good to use the B scalper overnight, Globex, and the A scalper when the markets open or two, three hours before the markets open. We need to look at this uh, future trading in a different concept than uh, sticking our head to just an indicator and following the indicator. If you wanted to trade the future, we always need to predict what's going on in this market in order for us uh, to, um, uh, to, to, to understand what's going on. So for those guys, uh, the uh, they are on a very low budget. You you can use the, the you have a three different kind of automated trade. You can automate it trade, or you can follow the signals when the signal fire, and you can use a normal uh, chart trader. And this way, you can skip some of the signals if you want, or you can follow all the signals, or you can auto trade whatever you want to do. But at least I know that horse is running constantly and is doing very fine practically every day. I cannot say every single day you're going to have some lousy days like anybody else. But it is, if you look at those videos, uh, I'm bragging a lot about the uh, ENCO, not because uh, I'm trying to find a direction for an experienced trader with a low budget 
and uh, and 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 not to get himself in trouble you know so even if this system you have it in your hands you should not be go live with it at least three weeks until you get the know or understand the habits and the timing and then you go live with it it's not just something i need to install for you and tomorrow you're gonna go on a full throttle with uh, your life trading and you don't know anything about that system we've been showing that system every day in life and without a doubt it's a very consistent system we've been running non-stop every single day for the last three months actually the saddest part in it we have some followers on the youtube they don't even have the system and uh, they are making money and some of them, they emailed me their trades, and some of them, they followed me when I'm calling a trade or a new signal come out. What freaked me out to you, sometimes you have one guy, he have the system, he have the signal, he have the entry, he have the auto trade, and he goes around in the circle, he cannot make money. You know, when everything is applauded in him, he don't have... That, that I mean, it is amazing between one person. It does not mean this person is smart or the other one is a smarter. No. The problem is you either understand the concept in the trading or you should not be trading, folks. I mean, when, when you give a guy that market analyzer telling you what is the new entry and until now has not even bothered himself to take one trade, whether manual or auto trade, there is something wrong in that picture, you know, especially when we've been going live every single day and we are saying, here is a new signal, here is a new entry. And then when a guy don't have the system and is following us and he's very tickled about it and uh, sending us say, Sam, please don't stop. We are following you every day. And I took that trade, the one in this trade. I've been getting a lot of emails on those. And it is really amazing. So trading, uh, if you don't respect trading, trading is not going to respect you. Very simple, folks. Right now, because of the FOMC, uh, the market is a little bit uh, struggling. Uh, and uh, now we have the YM is going straight to that direction. So we'll see what will happen on that trade. Uh, we have the sell entry on the ES. Uh, and the entry was 88550, a target 2880, 12 ticks. Even if you have a wrong signal, even if you have a wrong signal and the signal didn't make it, it's going to generate immediately new signal and you're going to be recovered. As an example, is this the way I am right now going to turn around and it's not going to make money? Okay. Which is going to happen? today and tomorrow and next week and, and it's going to happen but on the new signal we follow it then it's gonna make it so the recovery on a bad signal is in the same day recovery it's not uh, in 35 days like when you are some of the auto trades uh, you'll see if you go to the to the details on those auto trades, some of them, they say recovery days are 35 days. Recovery days, 35 days, oh boy. That's mean you have to make 35 days without any losing trade. You know what? I don't remember ever, I went even two weeks without losing day, you know? So I don't know how anybody can pull 35 days. And I've been behind the trading for 30 years now. Uh, uh, this year, by the, by the end of this year, it will be 30 years. So. I don't remember one time in my life I went two weeks without losing, you know. So this is not true, you know. There is no way anyone can sit down for two weeks or 30 days without any losing trades. There is something wrong in that picture. Okay, as you see now, the auto trade is taking that trade on the YM and we have the target here if you are on a fully automated to trade you get entry and exit and get it over with if you are greedy that's very fine i tell you how to use to be greedy a greedy not over 
run your system 24 hours. If you want to be greedy and the target is here, maybe we can take this needle a little bit down, which we have showed on the previous days where the market has exceeded uh, those uh, target and we made four or five hundred dollars different than what the system has told us to do. As an example right now, uh, on the uh, CL, when uh, the target hit on the CL, uh, the target was 70.45, uh, got you to 70.51 if you want to, or can it go much further sometimes than the target. Most of the time, the market, it's, it will stop at the target, but if this market is a trend in for today, yes, we are gonna nail at least two, three hundred dollars more on that trade if we can be working in conjunction with the auto trade. In 2018, it's no longer you can eyeball the market and trade and make a living out of it. Boy, I cannot, uh, when I get up in the morning after two hours, now I can see the bars start dancing. So when we get up in the morning and want to trade, uh, you are fresh, you do not make mistakes on the first hour or two hours, but then you start diving into the mud and you start making a wrong decision because you're tired. So the thing is, uh, sometimes we have uh, different problems on our mind, personal problems, children, you know, things, you know, we're not every day clear, but, uh, and this is a very, have a huge impact on your trading when somebody have people around him very negative that can have a lot of impact on your performance and decisions so uh so i will let the auto trade take the trade for me without using motion and then i can manage it on a very bad day uh, without thinking about uh anything anymore uh, for the dax i was uh, showing you it is um uh, made 1500 uh, now we have also the CL uh, base on one minute it just close in let me show you that DAX the CL uh, took one two three trades today and it's done. This is, look, on this one here, folks, if I didn't have the daily target, if I stayed on that one, I would have given up all my profit in this area here. Because this is a nightmare for any kind of auto trade. This is where a nightmare for even a manual trade. This is where all the traders start losing money. Look at this drop on the CL because the inventory today. Uh, one thing you don't know, maybe uh, on the on the charts, Ninja Trader, when you have the inventory like today on the CL, I mean, you see everything nice and clean on the bars, but sometimes we have very fast numbers. You don't see those very fast numbers, you know. Now you have a long wake here, that's fine. But most of the time when there is milliseconds, different numbers, you don't see them. You don't see numbers here and here and here. But uh, sometimes there is in the market some fast numbers you don't see uh, on your chart. And uh, uh, you are using a basic data uh, feed, so you don't see those uh, on the charts. Uh, let me see if we if we have a new signal. We, there, there is not. Uh, there is no new signals right now. We have the uh, ES now. The the ES and the YM, which they are done. So we are looking for a new signal. Let's look at the ES for now. Uh, we had the short uh, signal and uh, fifteen takes. And we are heading right straight to the target at 2880. During this time here, 
uh, what we have done, we put those two yellow lines. For the ones who don't know, those two yellow lines, you have two of them, one here and one here. Once those markets enter these two yellow lines, there is no way you're going to be taking a short, whether you are auto trading or manual trading. The reason is this is a very estimation where the market most likely is going to turn around. This is a dead end for any kind of trend. Now, sometimes the market movers, they're going to go ahead and uh, push it or pull it uh, or taking it down a few more ticks. But technically, we don't have this pleasure to do that. Technically, we have to be aware of that. And we say here, this area is not our area anymore. And you need to sit on the side. And once we hit the target, I'm going to show you, which we have covered that a lot uh, on the uh, on the how to reverse the market. And uh, I will show you by going this uh, uh, ES, even if you're saying you are an auto trading, this is not your headache. That's fine. I can respect that. But at least if you, uh, I'm trying to show you that if you are aware what's going on, uh, that is going to make a lot of difference. When this market entering those two yellow lines here, this means a no, no, no more short trade. And now we are hitting the target. This is a double confirmed. This party is over. However, they might take it a little bit further down, but this is noises. When, when you get into this area, especially our traders, which we have teached how mm -hmm. to trade uh, reversal uh, on... Uh, here on the YouTube and in the private. If we notice here, this is where we use the Renko bar for reversal. We do not use Renko bar. We do not use a Renko bar for a trader with the trend, then it's going to be a disaster. But right now we are coming out of the band. There is a target to right there, 79.25. Where I need to reverse this market, 78.50, 78.50. This is where uh, I'm, uh, you can uh, uh, trade the market at 78.50. I mean, 2878. <laughs> Watch it, guys. Watch it. Watch it. Here is your line. You put an entry at You see, what is this market at target two? I don't want to call the trade at target two. I want to get it at 78.50. Because right now it's coming to the target one and then going back to confirm it, the target one and target two. I could have called it from target two, but I don't want to call it from target two. This is a target two where profit taken. That's very really fine. I want to suck this market all the way to the uh, 78.50. Uh, on this one here, out of the band, support line, go for it. Uh, let's see the YM. This is where it hit the target. We're waiting for a new signal. And we'll take it from there. Uh, today, we are getting hammered uh, on the scalpers. Uh, we have 
we're really getting hammered on the one minute. The ES on 150 ticks doing very well. Uh, NASDAQ on 150 ticks is doing very well. And uh, the rest are eating bananas. There is a lot of problems uh, right now. But uh, what is nice about the scalper is going to be recovering very soon. Uh, they recover also immediately on those. But it is very important to see good trades and bad trades. Uh, once in a while, we're going to have um, um, uh, market analyzers on the scalper, uh, bright like a Christmas tree. Or what I can say, welcome to trading. I wish I can do it all in green every day. I cannot. Uh, not unless if you come at the end of the day. Yes, you can do that. Uh, NASDAQ closed positions. All NASDAQ closed position. We have a lot of trades still open. The one minute. The one minute on the NASDAQ uh, still on that trade and the three minutes still on that trade. And then the NASDAQ on the five minutes still on that trade. So that tells us when the market is moving your your time frame, whether it's one minute, three minutes, or five minutes, become irrelevant. It become irrelevant. Why? Because the market is moving. So maybe today on the one minute you have only one thousand three hundred, and then four thousand on the five minutes and three minutes. Uh, if you don't want it to use one minute, you can use the three minutes. It's in between, and uh, this way you can. Uh, actually, uh, uh, it's not one minute too much, it's too small, and five minutes is too big. Then three minutes is very consistent chart, and it is a real chart. It's not one of those Franco kinky bars, whatever the hell those are, uh, and uh, you want to trade with the trend. You will never make money with Franco bars trading with the trend. Yes, reversals, those are the best ever came out to reverse the market before the Renko bar came out. Look at this, guys. I didn't want to call it this trade for you from the target two. I wanted to call it from the 78.50. So we missed this one here by three takes. And um, yeah, that's life. We missed the three takes on that trade. So that tells us on the on the ES between the two yellow lines between the two yellow lines we hit the target nothing happened it's finished this way folks is every day every single day the same story you just need to learn how to read the market It's not bad at all. It is not bad. So we are waiting on a new signal. Uh, and um, one thanks for the ones who have just joined us. Uh, your re-entry. The auto trade will take, when the signal come out to the short, it's only gonna be one trade on the short. And it's not gonna be taking any more trades until we have long, and then you get the long. What is the advantage on this? The advantage different between that auto trade and that auto trade, or any auto trade you have under your sleeve, is gonna keep trading left and right until we catch the trend, okay? It doesn't matter. It's gonna keep trading bad, wrong, right. It's gonna keep trading. Once this market, like as an example, the NASDAQ, did this spike for today, after that spike, there is no more trade on the NASDAQ. It's finished. It's over. So now the market is going to go in neutral, or you want to call it flat, you want to call it consideration, whatever you want to do. 
This market, when the market start getting flat, that auto trade is not taking any trade. Until this market start going to the long. However, during this time here, we are not involved in this noises up and down anymore because that can drive you crazy and dizzy actually chasing the bar in between have no clue what the hell is going on very very simple on that the auto trade have a trailing stop one and a trailing stop two most of the time this market is going to be bouncing back from the trailing one or to the major right there and this is your re-entry so this is a lot of area where traders wait on those area to re-enter the market as a re-entry point if you don't know, know how to read those points here you have the re-entry points right there on every single market here at the market analyzer a re-entry point is 2888.25 on the NASDAQ 750150. But I don't know if I want to deal with the NASDAQ right now. It's finished. It's done. But this is where everything is on the chart. And what you need is just a few weeks to develop your own to get to know how to use the system right now on this uh, market analyzer we are 600 ticks in the profit based on the last entry total of 3820 based on one contract only we still have the the, the target uh, on the nasdaq and uh, uh, and the cl where is the cl i've been busy i have not paid attention on the cl and the plus don't forget tomorrow is the new contracts we uh, so now half of the volume is between uh, this contract and the newer contract tomorrow. So you're gonna see uh, uh, the volume is split in practically in half. Okay, we're gonna wait on a new signal coming out. Uh, there is a, a a sound on the signal, but I don't like sounds that can drive me crazy. So I have the sounds off. But uh, you're very welcome to keep your eye on the new signal. And uh, probably we should have a new signal very soon on uh, one of those charts, ES, NASDAQ, or Dow Jones. Uh, I'm simplifying that. We just chasing the CL. Uh, why am ES? I'm not chasing everything in this market uh, right now. Uh, folks, I'm going to be taking five minutes of break. And... Um, uh, keep your eye on this numbers here on the new signal. And you should have a new signal coming out. And it seems like the CL, we're about to have a new signal on the CL. Look, watch. On the CL right now, there is a re-entry point at 7049. Okay? Look. Right there. Mark it. Market put it 75.0 on a sim market for me. Let me try to why the probability this market is gonna project from the 7051 or 7050, and this is a re entry point. However, if you are a CL trader, another things look, those two yellow lines telling you there is no more long trade. You see, like what happened on the ESYM NASDAQ. If this, they want to take this market much higher, I can take that trade if you want to. And then you can nail some ticks out of it, whatever. If this market broke this area right there from 7051 
to 7040. This is the most critical area, whether you are manual or auto trading. The reason is you're diving into double support line, FIB, floor and FIBs, true average price, 7043, the true, the true average price, not those indicators you get from somewhere else. This is, you will find a hard way the market respect those numbers. And I'm going to leave it to let you see how this market is going to come here and stop. So this area here, that zone, that block right there, when everybody right now is trying to go short on the CL, we are sitting, waiting to go long on that one here. When the rest, by now, they're MACD, their ATR, their momentum, whether they are using a Renko bar, three minutes, one minute by now, all their indicator pointing down, which is not down. It's just a pullback. And if this market going to hold or not, I have no clue. We will see in this area here on the CL. This is not just a CL. This is an ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, DAX, any market, any given market, folks. Anything below the 7043, it is a short trade, and the automated trade is going to take short. While this market come here and playing with our head and going back and forth, this is the more fatigue on the, on the trader, and this is where they get lost, and this is where they'll start losing money. Because most of them right now, their indicator pointing down, whether you are one minute, three minutes, five minutes, everything now is red. As you see right now, we didn't go all the way down to the 7050, but the market came in. We missed two ticks on that one, folks, two ticks. If you look at the wig, it's 7053, and I said go into the market at 7051. Look what happened to the market. There we go. Now this market is going to go somewhere around there and start fading out. Now we have this indication this is the market is overdue. And then what you do, you go in, in here and you start finding your entry immediately. I can pinpoint to the tick where this market is going to reverse or not. And this area, if you take that trade from that area, now you have you are away from the, the real price. But if uh, somebody trying now to go in in those area here, it's going to drive him crazy because there is no clue. We are on a very critical area and there is no clue where is this bar is going to close up or down. This is where most of the traders start making mistakes and, and start losing money. You will never take a trade where the, when the market is moving. Never. I never do that. If I'm going to be missing a trade, let me miss that trade because you are putting a high risk in this area here. I don't want it to me following the market. I want the market to come to me. Don't ever trade the market when you are unprotected and you are wild open for somebody to come and nail your trade. This is the biggest mistake you can do when you are trading uh, uh, you should be always getting into the market where the, you need to lean on something, whether it's a FIB line or something. If I wanted to take that trade, I want to hide behind the wall. My stop loss has to be below those numbers, and I have three walls supporting my entry. And as like what we say right now, I called the trade at 70.51, but uh, come in, I missed two ticks. Should I chase it? No, I missed it. Welcome to trading. It's finished. It's out. I will find another trade. So let me go ahead and uh, put uh, the reversal on the CL, uh, trying to pinpoint, uh, pinpoint where is probably there is an entry on the on the trade. You see? Now we are in this critical area on this uh, CL. 
and knowing those information you're going to be taking a trade or you are going to be automated a trade those one here and uh, this is where now you start running out of luck with your trade because you are trading in areas you should not be trading and actually you should be looking short in those trades here is your uh, cl i'm trying to pinpoint where is this reversal is gonna be this is not acceptable i cannot read this one here and then nail that trade from here i cannot i will not accept that trade from here because this one here doesn't say anything to me if we look at the reversal here in conjunction with the diversion out of the band i can nail it and here's a double support i know exactly where i need to get out now what they are doing they are playing with those traders and they're gonna drive you crazy where is the proper entry now to reverse this market when those guys now are trying to push this market here is your entry as a reversal is 7106 7106 why out of the band double resistance you are in a very critical area. It don't need a genius to do that. It does not need a genius to do that. And anyone on this room right now, they can follow that trade because we can see it. So right now, if I want to reverse the CL, this area here, I will not invest a dime in it. I will not put $1 in it. Why? Because 90%, if you are taking this market from here, folks, your chances is uh, nine out of 10, you're gonna lose. Because there is no direction here. There is no sense in here. You cannot follow MACDs and ATRs following the market and you wanna trade the future. You cannot have an indicator following the market based on the past and you wanna trade the future. This is not, it's not gonna happen. Not today and not tomorrow. And that's what you hear. I've been trading for five years, no luck. I bought the wrong indicators. No, you did not buy the wrong indicators. Maybe there are wrong indicators, but because your principle in the trading is wrong. You're following the market. You should not purchase anything following the market. You should predict the market. This is a wrong teaching. And then when you you don't nail it, they say you didn't go by the rules. There is no rules in this business. There is no rules. Market don't care about your rules, don't care about your fibs, don't care about my reversals, don't care about your auto trade. There is no rules in this business. Every day, it's like, a, you know, when you are meeting a new woman, now you are going in a wild you know, chase all day long. And you cannot go with rules because you have to break the rules sometimes. <clears throat> so right now on the CL, folks, the only entry I will take is the 7106 short. And if this 7106 is not going to come to me, so that's okay. I'll keep my money and stay out of trouble. I keep my money and stay out of trouble. You do not have to trade every day. Sometimes I do not trade every day. And sometimes I sit on the side until I see something is telling me, come, there is a nice juicy steak to chew on. I'm not gonna jump in the market for 10 ticks. I'll sit on the side and I'm not gonna have those 10 ticks aggravate the hell out of me. You know, this is, you always have to wait till this market come to you. You cannot just keep chasing the market and let, let this market run you. So right now on the CL, here is the story on the CL. And what I will do, uh, you can mark it on your, oh, don't do that. Now Ninja Trader is fixing to collapse all my charts. Okay. You know, I don't know if you have tried that when you're trying to move a chart from one screen to another then everything collapse and then you have to reopen every in, uh, chart i normally close it and reopen it again and uh, get it over so right now uh, the only trade is available on the cl is 7107 i'm leaning on double resistant that's mean in order for that 
guys to take me out of that trade. They need to knock out two lines, and I know my lines. Here's another thing. It's confirmed by Florin Phipps. Those are different than this. You see, this is here your zone, your Phipps, and here is your Florin Phipps. They are confirming those numbers. And now we are coming, you see, we are coming out of the gate, out of this bar, out of this channel. And now it's climbing to that number, 70. You can take any short trade from here, 706, 707, uh, 705 if you want to. But we are coming to that trade here, 706 if you want to. And you watch it, folks. You watch it. Market on, um, uh, if you follow on those trades, please be on SIM. I'm not responsible for your trade. I'm not getting paid. I'm just sitting here uh, donating two hours every day from my work uh, to give some education. So uh, uh, please uh, don't, uh, don't drag me into uh, your war. Um, so folks, um, uh, I need to take five minutes of break. And um, we have no trade right now. We have no new signals. You only have the re-entry. But I'm going to stay with you until we can find a new entry uh, on, the, uh, on the system. Uh, be back in five minutes. Thank you.
Uh, there is a new signal on the DAX. Entry 11.986, target uh, 16.5, right there. Now it's gone. If we look at the CL, you see nothing is happening here on the CL. It's going to drive any trader crazy right there. So you cannot trade this one here. When I said this market cannot be traded, you cannot trade it until that market comes to the 7106. Then we bang on this one here. Right now, this one here doesn't say anything. It's following by the projection. The projection is 7081. It's not going to get anywhere followed by the mid bank. I don't want to cover those area here because this is going to cause confusion. Uh, to the trader i'm trying this the hardest part is trying to simplify trading not complicated trading so there is a lot of areas that can be traded i don't want to complicate things i want it to be you know we have uh, um, we have some customers they even refuse to have an update They sit down all day long waiting on the market to get out of the band with those conditions and they're taking a trade. You know what? They out traded every guy say he's clever. And they I have seen their trades. As an example here, this is diversion resistant out of band. Nail it. Out of bed, nail it. Out of bed, nail it. You know, so we can simplify the trading. It does not have to be complex. And you know what? Um, I'm a reversal man. Uh, and um, until, I mean, now is, uh, you know, doing the, those years, you change a lot. And, um, but uh, I'm a reversal man. And I love reversal. The reason why I like reversal, not because I like reversal. Before the Renko came out, I used to reverse with the range. And uh, the range eight, a range eight, it is like a standard for all the instruments, range eight. Not 13, not five, not four, eight. It works very fine on a CL. Uh, ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, the eight is a standard on the range. Then the Renko bar came out a few years ago. Then I switched to the Renko bar. Why I do like uh, the reversal, there is a reason for that. First of all, when you take a trade out of the band, you reverse this market. Doing this Sometimes this market can go sideways. You cannot enter the market. Then also on top of that, if we notice the condition, when it is out of band for 7097, where are we gonna get into the straight when it hits the band? Not here, here. So when you get in in the trade 7090, Gets you out of the band 7055. The only time if you want to, if you if you're not trained on it, I do, because I can see the support line, I can nail it on the second bar. But let's say you're not used to that, there's nothing wrong with it. Train it. Once this bar hit this band, I will be nailing it one more time. You know? Or if you want to, because Maybe you're scared to do it from here, then let it skip that trade. At least you nailed a very good trade from that area here. Some of the trades, it will be extremely, extremely profitable. Some of them are very small. They come into the mid band and then they go up. As an example, if we want to look at the CL, this is a sale. This is always money in it, whether you are auto trading or manual trading. 
those cell reversals they do not repaint again they do not repaint those when the market gets out of the band double uh, resistant diversion sell what else you're waiting on it is like somebody laying money on the table and you're not getting it you know and all of it double double resistant sell diversion out of the band what you're waiting on take that trade whatever you can grab out of it this trade here is I, I don't like to cover after the band I mean after the fact I do not I like to predict the market in the future but what I'm trying to do I'm trying to show you why a reversal and we have covered the reversal live on the YouTube to show you how you can and of course there is some other details look when it says and that's mean your ABCs are over and then look at this from top to the bottom is giving you the same indication that is reversal and now look the the CL is coming up all the way to the 706 or 707 you can put a reversal uh, short trade on those uh, this one here uh, we have not got any new signal yet. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get something very soon. And uh, we will be covering a little bit on the uh, on this ES, CL. Look, it's coming to you. And what is nice about the reversal, even if you fell on the first reversal, first of all, the, fir the reversals are very cheap. To trade the risk rewards are perfect why because if you take the trade short on the 707 or 706 if you like it just you need a couple of three ticks above the resistance line that's all what you need even if it fails out of the band there is another opportunity here at 7121 but once you nail it once you nail it, it's going to keep going down and it's going to be a very good trade for today. Better than to make a guess on that bar if it's going to go up and down. And look, exactly we are predicting that market and we know the track on that market. And now we are coming and climbing to the 706 level. But at least you did your homework. Look, 706. There we go. Now we wait on it. Now we wait on it. Don't make you let it let it scare you. There is a resistance at seventy one twenty six and a resistance on seventy one twenty one. This is it. This is it. This is it. It's finished. Now down the hill. Oh, we have a new trade. Look, down the hill. And now we'll keep our eye on it. We have some. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What's going on in here? Oh, ES. Okay. And uh, YM. Oh. 
Okay, a lot of buying. Very good. A lot of buying on those two. The auto trade will exit at uh, 113. I'm dragging it higher. There is a lot of potential on that trade, so I don't need to follow the auto trade. I can override the auto trade. That's why the auto trade will exit at uh, uh, 61.15. I'm taking it a little bit up to see if we can squeeze anything out of that. And uh, the same story on the EAS. At the moment, we are on 39.384 ticks based on one minute, one contract on the market analyzer. Let's look at the CL. Start losing. Hit the double uh, the resistance out of the band. And now little at the time we're gonna be start dropping on the cl right front of your eye the problem right now on the uh, on the ym this resistant area we'll see how once we break that resistant area then there is nothing going to hold the YM. The same thing with the EAS is coming that direction. So they're going to work very fine together. Oh, I didn't have the NASDAQ on today. Okay, the NASDAQ target is uh, 97.50. The CL, we're going down. You see? Start going down. So there is a potential, once we break that uh, uh, 7109, There's a good potential to drop to 7086. And then from there, we'll see if we can get it from one side to the other. Okay, let's see. Uh, 360 on that trade. NASDAQ, I'm sorry, I, I just uh, did the uh, new installation. It's, it seems like I forgot to turn it on. Or I closed it, I don't know. Uh, NASDAQ. 
the target is uh, 96.25, resistant 503.25. Be careful with that. Five hundred thirty nine ticks based on the last entry signal. Look at the guy, look guys, the CL, look, it's dropping. Keep your eye on the 7099. If we can cross that, that means there is a good potential all the way down on the CL. It's over with the CL. Okay, we're about to hit the target on the YM. There we go, folks. There we go. Look. This is nice. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's it. We broke the mid band. That's mean this market is going. Now the first stop is 7086. Oh, okay. Changed. Perfect. Okay. We're dropping all the way down to 7072 uh stay on that trade and all the way let me find you an exit in just a second it is very hard to cover uh different auto trades different system and uh trying to uh all all instruments it is really my hand is very handful uh poo -poo -poo -poo. there we go Ah, oh, what is the CL? Okay, there we go. Okay, we have a new. Look. You don't have to take this one. Wait till uh, 7053 and then you can re-enter long. You keep sitting and banging on that trade day and night. Once it's out of bed. We're about to hit the target on, on the 1118. Now we are 577 ticks based on the last signal. Target hit on the YM right to the tick. So if we are trading one ES, one NASDAQ, and one Dow Jones based on the last entry, $87, 375 and 255 based on one contract, one minute. On the CL, this was a beautiful trade. And now it's going back, the CL. If you are still on a short on the CL, you can exit out of the, the band somewhere. And if you want to re-enter the market long, try to look for 53 level, 70, 53 level. You can, you can follow me on a sim with that. Okay, target hit on the... Why am I did it? No, not yet. There is a couple takes for it.
you can see how the when you are using the chart, you always get updates on the target. So you don't have to be aggressive. The system will get aggressive for you. You just follow the numbers and the line. That's all what you have to do. We are 577 based on the last signal entry. We still have a lot of potential. Let me see the NASDAQ. We didn't hit the target on the NASDAQ. It's coming. Uh, for for that trade, the one who sent, no, it's not a tradable here. It's not. I will not bend for the market. The market has to come to you. So, I mean, if you, if you are a light handed, it's fine if you know what you're doing. But if you just want to, I'm not saying to follow rules, there is no rules. But I prefer to see that market come in here at 7052 and take a trade on the CL. I don't want to chase this, not for you. There is a projection right now, and um, there could be the market coming back. We will find out. But the only entry right now I have is buy here and sell here. 7126 sell or 7054 buy. That's the only two options I can see on the CL if you want to reverse in that matter. Okay. A lot of potentials, good. A lot of buyers, good. If you notice on the YM, we have this two yellow lines. It's a critical area. And then we hit the target. You know, now, do you need to be more in this trade? I don't know. That's up to you. But uh, you already hit the target, and we are way above this yellow uh, zone where you should be careful. So if you are following the, the YM, close it. It's finished. Hmm. 
Now we are waiting on the ES. It could be the YM go much higher than that because of the ES is a long way from the target. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball, but uh, it's fair enough. Based on two contract YM, when the last time you made a thousand on it? So now we're waiting on uh, Mr. ES here to see. Could be the YM gonna climb much more if this ES, we'll see, I don't know. Look guys, on the CL, <coughs> excuse me. I don't want to sit down and explain the mid band because uh, it's going to confuse you, but there is a trace in here, but I don't want to cover those. It seems like the market is sinking in and I'm, I'll be sitting at 53 level. I will not budge from the 53 level. I don't want to get in to the trade when there is a chop market. I don't want to do that. I will take it from here or here. That's it. Don't bend for it. Okay. All right. On the way down the NASDAQ, I don't remember the number, so I cannot say how much it was the NASDAQ down. And now on the new signal, the NASDAQ is about to hit the new target. And on the new signal, uh, we have 103 ticks uh, on the NASDAQ, 230. All right. I'm interested to see if this ES is gonna hit this target at a 99 level. Okay, look, you have a reversal target hit on the YM. Now you can dismiss your ATM and, and pull it back if you want to stay on that trade because the probability this market is coming right there, pull back re-entry. So this is a call is to the trader. If you want to, you can pull it back. This is what is nice about the ATM. You can control your trade. Or close it. I mean, how much you want to get more than that? Close it and close the computer and run as fast as you can. You know, uh, because this party now, there is a reversal, target hit. We missed one tick on that target on the YM. And now it's diving, it's coming back here, probably pulling back re-entry. You're going to get in and in a lot of mess. So sometimes maybe close it and get it over with. You're not gonna get anything out of it anymore. As I see it right now, this market is coming back for a re-entry point around 6106. I mean, you have it. Why you wanna give up all your profit or close your position in here and then re-enter the market. If you are greedy and aggressive, you can do that by going into the market at 6107. Take one more trade. You can afford to take a risk for one trade for a couple of hundred dollars or a hundred dollars uh, because the market is trending today. It's not uh, getting stuck uh, somewhere. To put additional 200, uh, 300 dollars on that trade is very fine. You're happy for what you're getting, get it over with, you know. Right now we are 560 ticks uh, from the last entry signal it's not from all day long. It's just from the last entry signal. 
like the Nasdaq, when we started, it was on short and had uh, many ticks. Uh, and now on the new signal, we got the 83 ticks based on one contract, all this market analyzer based on one contract. For the ones who has missed the trade, uh, it's not too late. Uh, I will give you the entry point. It says in there, uh, 88.25 re-entry on the ES. And if you want to be aggressive, you can take one at 90. I'll tell you when to take it. But it says here on the re-entry, you can take this number. On the YM, it tells you the re-entry is 60.86, and the NASDAQ re-entry is 64.75. So I can pinpoint the re-entry if you missed this trade. It's easy. Look at the CL, folks. Now we got a new line in town right there. You see, this is exactly where the market reversed. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm covering the pullback, re-entry, covering the reversal, covering. Now there is two options you can do here. You can enter the market at uh, uh, 64 or if you want to be conservative, you can put a buy order at 53. But the market is coming exactly the same area here. So I don't believe in the in a double bottom, double up. I don't believe in this crap. Uh, what about, uh, you know, uh, demand and uh, no, no, no. But uh, we need if if I, if you ask me what I will take, I will take the 53. I'm a conservative, so I will take buy order at 53 out of the band. I have a double support line here in case worst case scenario. I have also support by the 7040. So this is much more protected area than this area here at 66. So this is. I'm still determined to go long, reverse this market at 70.53 because I have something to lean on better than this just one line. Here there is one line only. Here I have a double support, Florin Fibs, and another major support, uh, support area. So this one here, that trade at 53 is 10 times safer. For the guys trying to uh, re-enter the market on the NASDAQ, this is uh, your lucky day here. You see right there, this is the true average price. And then we'll come in to the FIB line. The first defense is the minor and then a re-entry point, and then your measure. This area here is gonna be decision point between right there, take a trade. On a sim, take a trade right there. 78.75. On a sim, guys. This is uh, the true average of price. At the bottom here, uh, there is a lot of support area. So 
Look. So this is exactly where the Nasdaq stopped. This is exactly where the Nasdaq stopped. And now it's gonna, if it's gonna go up again, you need to exit at uh, 98.50. and then kiss it goodbye. Or you need to exit at 97.25 and kiss it goodbye. Look at this, Bailey, come on. Put some money for those guys. Okay, here is your entry on the ES. Not YM, the entry here on the ES. So let's see, come on, put some money in those guys' pocket, yeah. Very good. Oh shit, we have projection coming. We have a projection coming at 89.25. Oh, Wait guys, we'll see how this one gonna fall. There is a lot of support area here. Don't don't let it uh, make you panic. A lot of support area. Yes. This is a re-entry point on the ES. The market is not gonna die. A lot of sales coming out. This is a major support area on the ES for a re-entry. It's not over on the NASDAQ trade, guys. Be careful. Oh, CM. No, we're still on the CL. There is nothing on the CL, so we're going to stay. This is where the re-entry on the ES. Don't don't uh, don't panic. Hold on. There is a lot of sales coming in. Let's see what is the story behind those. There is a lot of people pushing the market down. Why? What's going on? Oh, 12.45. FOMC. Wait, guys.
We have a new entry on the CL cell. Let me see where is the CL. Uh, I don't like that entry on the CL. I really don't like the cell entry in here on the CL, but we have on the system uh, an entry on the cell uh, at uh, 70, 67. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna wait on the either a new signal or a, or a, a re-entry pullback. Let's see what will happen to the market. Okay, we're going to get a new signals. It's over. We're going to get a new signals. We're about to hit a new signal. The whole market changed. Okay, we got the new signals. Uh, YM, uh, an entry. Okay, all, all new signal, NASDAQ. 5525, five, target 2825. YM, uh, 066, target uh, 006. And uh, we are waiting on the ES trade. Uh, 
he has hidden immediately this target. Uh, the target is 81. There is a lot of sale. And uh, this one here is going to have a problem on the YM. Go to your target. NASDAQ. Uh, also, you have a sale order. And your target is right there, 29. CL. We have a short trade on the CL, but I don't like it because the reversal is at 53 level. So 53 level. It's right there. I don't know. We'll see what will happen on the CL as well. Now the market is really funny to move. I think it's over. But we will chase those trades and uh, see what uh, happened on those trades. We had a beautiful run this morning, but we cannot keep nailing everything 24 7, that's for sure. Okay. Is the CL gonna go? No. All right. NASDAQ, let's see. Uh, the NASDAQ, we are just three takes. Yes, yes, 12, YM, seven takes. Fox is uh, lunchtime, it's not gonna happen anything. If you wanna copy those trades, copy them, but um, I don't see anything gonna happen big, um, until 12.45 today. We're gonna extend it a little bit. I'll um, I'll stay quiet for a few minutes, and we're gonna extend it a few minutes to see how this market. But right now, everything is out of control. Uh, we'll. Um, I don't like the way it reads, really. You know, let's call it off. There is a uh, major news coming at twelve forty-five, and uh, we. Uh, we say thank you very much. Thank you for watching us. And uh, whoever made it today before this mess started, uh, you're very welcome. And uh, we'll see you all uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock Eastern time uh, for in the same channel. And if you like us, please give us a thumb up. And um, uh, I don't know. Tomorrow is Thursday. Should be a very good day tomorrow. But you know what? We stayed a little bit longer on the YM, ES, and NASDAQ. We need to recover from that uh, trade I recall, I called, and it did go south. So we'll make it up. Uh, ES, you got it, uh, NASDAQ. I mean, this is really messy um, ES. And um, the target is right at uh, 81.25, which is going to be, but you know, there is a lot of, a lot of problems on the way. So we will continue with this less signal and the NASDAQ. Also is going down on the NASDAQ. Uh, your target is uh, now 29, uh, 28, 25, but we have a major support area at 31. So if you are on that NASDAQ trade, take it out 33.50, 33 NASDAQ, because now the timing is uh, lunch. So it's not gonna get a lot. And uh, this one is going okay. 
but on the YM, there is a, a lot of support area here. I I doubt it. It's gonna do the job to the target. I doubt it very much on the YM, uh, nailing it at a 008 at the moment. And uh, the ES, we have the target is 81 level. It's acceptable, but we have a 81.75. So you cannot be greedy on those trades, guys. You cannot. You just simply cannot. There is a lot of turbulence on the way. Folks, it's been a pleasure serving every one of you. And uh, it's lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. So we'll uh, eat. We'll, <laughs> we'll, see. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock uh, Eastern time. God bless you all and uh, see you all tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>